this is my normal setup for Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 11. This is how I'd normally work. For example, top left up here, we've got um, seven clips to do with the river. I don't know what they are. I can't see them apart from hitting the preview like that. I would drag one in and pop it down there. And then I would build up. The point is that if I wanted to create a video, I normally work on the timeline like this. And this is part of getting, I think, into some really bad habits. And that is that if I wish to drag these along the timeline, you can see that this whole screen is absolutely full of like numbers and buttons along the top. Overkill compared to when you go over to Lightworks in a moment. So um, if I wanted to do a crossfade or something, I'll just drag in, play, and you can see that as this comes through, there'll be a, a fade through. Here it comes now. And then I could carry along that like that forever. The only thing I do want to slightly change here is because I've got a 4 by 3 going on. If I come down here, hopefully you're seeing I'm not sure that you are seeing it. And if I wanted to put it down to, say, just a straightforward 16 by 9, then you can see that's already cropped out. And so this time I'll play. That's it for this part. The second part will be looking at Lightworks with exactly the same seven files. So this is Lightworks, the free version. And so far I have a file of seven clips, the same seven clips called the river. Select them all and then import them. This is the first time I've ever kind of like done this. So there are all of my clips. Now, you can see it's a very, very different situation in that we've got a few buttons along the bottom, we've got a few toolbars to the left-hand side, and I've got my clips. I'll tell you what, let's just double-click on them, and you'll see that what happens is that there is, and it's not, I don't think it's called a trimmer or a viewer or whatever it is, and I have to select, and if I hit play look, you can see that that's playing. So I open up a timeline, and it looks like this. This is me really trying to teach myself, of course. So you'll see that on the bottom right-hand side, it's got record with the red button, and this is kind of like what I'm looking at um, to produce. So if I click on once, and I think I can drag it down, and there it is, and there's my first clip. Okay, and then the, the clipboard comes up, and I can put that somewhere just near the bottom. Okay, so then if I hit play, is anything going to happen? Not much. Okay, um, let's go for number two just to show you how we're working on it. This is the difference. There's number two. Drag it and put that. And now you can see here is my same timeline. If I want to make them bigger now, let's, let's just, just, just try that. I'll make this one smaller. I think I'm nearly finished on this tutorial because all it is is saying this is the different environments. Little things that one of the things I picked up today. Um, was that, watch this, if you can see the, the mouse pointer, if I'm near the left of the clip, it's got like a little, looks like a C, and if I go over there, it's got a C, but if I go in the middle, I can actually drag this along. Now, it took me ages to figure that out, and now I have figured it out, I find things so much better, and then there are no effects in here, apart from if you click effects, and then you can do bunches of things like that. Anyway, that will do for the moment. What I've managed to do is get a couple of clips on the timeline, that's pretty much it, isn't it? I could carry on forever about this.